Well, you may be noticing some of those hazy skies again today, and that's really just due to the uh, the lack of change in our weather pattern. So the steering pattern right now with our current weather system is bringing everything down from the northwest, including the dry, comfortable air we've had the last several days. But it's also bringing in wildfire smoke from Canada. Several wildfires. I mean, this is the season for it, but they're ongoing throughout, of course, a good chunk of what is mostly forest across a good portion of Canada. And then you've got fires out west, fires out across the south. I mean, it's very typical this time of year. But the ones producing the really big amounts of smoke are up across Canada. So that northwest flow pulling that smoke down across New England again today. It's a little bit heavier off to our east, but we're certainly seeing more moderate levels of smoke. It's kind of hazing out the skies a little bit, not impacting air quality too much. We're at a moderate level today. Once we start getting into the oranges and the reds, that's when we have to really start exercising more caution uh, and keeping it indoors. Moderate really isn't too rough unless you really suffer from, uh, you know, something significant in terms of respiratory illness. But today, it's only slightly down from where it was yesterday. Looking out to the Quabbin Reservoir again, it almost looks overcast, but that is just the wildfire smoke. That is not cloud cover. Right now, they would have full sunshine, though we do have a lot more cloud cover farther south into the lower valley, and that's due to all the showers that have sparked up across the hill towns and out across New York State. So we're seeing some cloud cover from that activity, but most of it's going to stay across the high terrain through the rest of the evening. Some of these models hinting at maybe Franklin County getting hit with a shower a little bit later on tonight, but all of that should be fizzling out close to sunset. We head into the overnight hours with fair skies, temperatures dropping back down to around, I would say 60, maybe some upper 50s. Models are also hinting at the possibility of a shower tomorrow morning. I think it's going to be more hit or miss than what that shows, but there is a chance for maybe a brief early shower. Sunshine comes out, it gets warm, it gets more humid, and then we'll see some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity redevelop for the afternoon and evening. Similar to today, it's looking hit or miss, but Unlike today, I think even the valley has a chance to see a shower. It's not just going to be confined to the high terrain. Everything diminishes again tomorrow night, and then it is looking rain-free for Friday. So your 24 showing temperatures climbing quickly in the morning back into the lower and middle 80s for the afternoon. Breezes will stay light. Humidity comes up a little bit. We have wind shifting more out of the south as we head toward the end of the week, which will start bringing humidity up even more. And then our next weather maker comes in for the weekend, which really ramps up the moisture. And we'll be dealing with our next chance for more widespread rainfall. Now, as our weather system starts coming in out of the west, we also have Hurricane Ernesto that's going to be making its way toward Bermuda. So this system moving north is actually going to slow the progression of our system coming in from the west. So it delays showers. Saturday we'll have the cloud cover, maybe a couple of showers, but then rain is more likely for Sunday and Monday. Monday right now looking like the wettest day with our cold front as it passes through. Once that cold front moves offshore, humidity starts to drop and we go back to another nice stretch of weather. So unfortunately, the unsettled conditions come in just for the weekend uh, into Monday with Saturday looking like the better of the three days. Tuesday we're still a bit cloudy, but we start drying out and then good sunshine, low humidity, and seasonable temperatures on tap mid to late week. Abby, back to you. Thank you.